Welcome to the 28th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant like Jarvis from the Iron Man comics and videos. Please subscribe if you want to watch me build it, watch my progression, and help me if you are also a programmer. This is the seventh video in my Python for Finance playlist. In this video, I'm going to show you two stock screeners and what I've been doing with them. The first, We'll be using the Alpha Vantage API, which you can see here. I created a script that iterates through uh, this Excel. Let me pull it up. Of the Russell 3000 stocks, and um, I'm going to use the Alpha Alpha Vantage Premium API, and I'm going to use the Google Finance to show you. Um, you know, different types of ways you can use these two programs to create your own stock screener. Uh, just for this video, we'll look for stocks that have adjusted close prices over 5%. So I've subscribed to this premium version of the API, which you can apply here at alphavantage.co premium. And then you go get premium API key. And then I bought this one right here, the 30 API requests per minute. Okay, so that would be, you know, if there's 60 seconds, you could only do, um, what's it called? Um, the 30 API requests per the minute. And so if you're trying to peen constantly, a, a computer program can peen in milliseconds. So, you know, they're going to charge you for that. So here you go. That's how you get your own premium key. They do have a free one right here, five API requests per minute, 500 requests per day. So if we were going to iterate through the Russell 3000, you would um, hit your API limit for that day also. So the premium key has no daily limits. All right, so this is not an ad and I'm not getting paid for this, but Alpha Vantage, if you're watching, uh, holler at me. So let's check it out. Let's go into PyCharm. Okay, if you want to use this first, you go to your command prompt and pip install alpha underscore vantage, or I'm sorry, alpha hyphen vantage. Then down here, you'll see from alpha vantage, alpha underscore vantage dot time series import time series. Notice the capitalization here. And then I store all my keys, since I'm doing this on YouTube, in a file called keys. So you will have to create your own API key. All right. So then I created something called stock screener testing. So the first thing you do is since we just imported a time series, you create an instance of this time series. You pass it the key which is the Alpha Vantage API key we just talked about. The output format, you could do it in a bunch of formats. It supports a bunch. I choose pandas because that seems to be the Python's best uh, you know, data science um, platform. Uh, you could import all the data to Excel, but we'll get to that in a second. Then you tell it where the stock listing's at. So uh, I have a Russell 3000 list in my folder. And then you create a data frame using pandas dot read Excel stock listing and then I want it to say that the very first column is the zero with column if you don't pandas makes uh, counts it for you so try and accept like you've seen in all my videos and for each row we're going to iterate through the rows we're going to get the stock symbol starting in row zero and then we're going to pass this data and metadata for the time series gate get daily adjusted, we're going to pass it this stock symbol. Okay, and then you have to choose what kind of output size. The alpha advantage and one of the keys to it, I guess the alpha advantage, the advantage to it is that you can get hundreds of days and years of this data. I'm choosing output size compact. Okay, and so we're going to, we have a try within a try, try within a try, within a four. And so if we get a value, I'm going to say error with this stock symbol. So wherever I got this Russell 3000, for some reason, it's either not updated or 
the stock symbol doesn't match and it will get an error and then I want it to pass and go back and it's going to pull this adjusted close price so you create a variable and it's the fifth column called adjusted close I'm going to assign it to I'm going to get it from this data it's yelling at me because we use metadata also and never called it then I'm going to times it by 100 because it gives you this massive float so when you times it by 100 it moves the decimal and places over to a decimal that you're used to seeing then we're going to round it by two places. Then we're, I only want the last one in the series. So the output size, I think compact gives you the last 200. I just want the last one. That's what this negative one It's called splicing. And then just for this video, this is not my algorithm that I'm going to use. But we're going to say if the last change was over 5%, we're going to print that out. Then we're going to sleep for two seconds so I don't bust my API limit. And then if it's not over 5%, we're just going to pass through it and then go back to each one. And then if we get another error, we're going to print that. Okay, so I'm going to run this. Okay, what it's going to do is going to access that Excel sh sheet and go through each stock until it finds one that's over 5%. Now this has to go through a lot and due to the time sleep I am going to speed this up in the video and I will stop the code once it hits one that hits over 5%. Now on Friday the Dow Jones uh, I think closed over 300 so this shouldn't take too long. So let's speed it up. Okay so I stopped it there. We're going to skip this AAC. So that is not a, a real stock. I'm not sure why it keeps that adjusted close data, but we will check out this AAWW. So let's go to Yahoo Finance. And let's look up AAWW. And since I'm recording, this is taking longer. Okay, and as you can see, AAWW closed 5.72%. AAWW 5.72%. Okay, so you can see, let's close this. So if you scroll up, I commented it out, but you can assign each one of these and print it out to an Excel if you want. So that's the alpha advantage or alpha vantage and uh, you can do something similar using the Google Finance API or not, not the Google Finance API just Google Finance. So I opened up that same Russell 3000 stock ticker list right and you just open it as Google Sheets. So we're going to use the Google Finance. So this is not going to be a tutorial. I don't do tutorials. I just walk people through. So if you're not sure how to use Excel or Google Sheets, this might be a little confusing. But to access Google Finance, you just type in equals Google Finance. All right. And so it gives you everything. It tells you how to do it just like Excel. And let's learn more about this Google Finance. So here's some samples of how you use it. You pass a stock ticker symbol and then you ask it to print out the price. And then if you want a date time, you could do that. You want the daily, you can do the last 30 days and then print out just today. And then it has all these attributes, price, price open, high, low volume, etc., etc., all the way down. And then you can get historical data and then um, mutual fund data so but most of these are delayed by 20 minutes if you're not accessing historical data so when we get the price it's delayed up to 20 minutes when we use the alpha vantage api it is not so let's go back to our google sheets so it's asking you the ticker so we can manually input the ticker if we want 
or you can just reference the cell A2. Okay, and let's get go back to our documentation and you can see the one that says change percent the percentage change in price since the previous days closed so let's do that that's the same thing we just did in Python so then you type in change percent close that off okay Let's go all the way down to AAWW. There we go, 5.72%. So you can drag this all the way down if you want. Okay, it's going to find them all. Surprisingly, it was fast, even though I'm recording. Let's just call this change percent. And then just like Excel, you could also just quickly filter off this and say we want to look for you know greater than or equal to five hopefully I have enough stocks for it to find that there we go it found now I only did the code down to the first 200 you could have to slide it down all the way to the 3000 and it'll find stocks that hit over 5%. Now this is not my algorithm that I'll be using to set up my own stock screener, but this is how I am starting it and using it. So th those are the two ways that you can do this. Um, you can use them together. There's a Google Sheets API if you want. I will definitely do a video on that because I would like to use the Google Docs API. Um, but if you're going to set up a trading bot that uses real-time data, you'd probably want to use the Alpha Vantage. If you're going to set up something like mine, which uses the uh, adjusted close price, then you can use either or. I will use Python because it will do it autonomously using Shane, my digital assistant. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what features you think Shane should have. And please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. Goodbye, world.